because there are so many things that are going to change. And we would put forward that our ability to anticipate and respond is going to be key. We think there are four key things that everyone in this room is going to need to get right. And that's technology, talent, risk, and delivery. The industry is facing an unprecedented degree of uncertainty. And then we acknowledge the fact that we can't predict the future. It's really important for all of our companies to set business strategies that are very uh, flexible, anticipate the change, and that are very responsive for changes that occurs and the uncertainties that are inevitably to remain in the uh, business. What you see in recent statistics is the economies are, uh, the recoveries are starting to moderate, uh, and there's uh, some uncertainty in included in there. You can't just pick one aspect of, of free trade and free market and ignore all the other inhibitors to free trade and free market. Uh, on a sort of a, a, a trough to peak basis, if you think about where we were in, in I'm going to go now to, to, to May of 2011, because this story is really even more recent vintage. Looking back at May 2011, we were net importers of all products uh, of about 412,000 barrels per day. We are now net exporters of 1.4 million. So 1.8 peak to trough change in net imports. That's quite a lot. If you look at just gasoline and diesel, the number is about 1.1. The amount of production seems to be increasing at a rate higher than what the projections have shown it to do. More or less, we're like, we're like a kid's soccer team, where if the ball's over here, everybody runs over here. And if the ball's over there, everybody runs over there. And that's, that's been our national energy policy. We sort of lurch from crisis to crisis. Energy is geopolitics with a really big G. Great powers and great leaders can't afford to be tired because it just has to be that the most powerful country on the face of the earth is generous and free and believing in the potential of humankind for good. North America is a powerhouse in energy. We the people has actually been an inclusive concept. You can busy yourself right up out of business. If it can be done, it will be done. If you don't do it, someone else will. What I'm saying there is if you don't do it, your competition's going to do it. You now know about it. I told you it's going to happen. Energy is the secret ingredient to the entire thing. In the next five years, we are going to see a major transformation in how we sell, how we market, how we communicate, how we collaborate, how we innovate, how we train, how we educate. The greatest thing that's happened to our industry today is nobody talks about supply and lack thereof. Natural gas is going to play a very huge role for a very long time in this country. Culture trumps strategy. I'm not sitting here and going to tell you 
you don't have a great strategy, you don't have a vision for your company, you've got to have that. You've got to have a philosophy about how you do things. But if you can get the people behind you, it's like a wall of water coming at you. And, and there's nobody that can stop it. I will accomplish nothing without having to say thank you to somebody else. Everybody, nothing is more impactful on a person. And what happens as you go through the decades of your life, for those of you that are moving through them, a lot of you in your 40s and 50s, when you're 60, something happened. There was a transformation mentally, spiritually. Uh, we can't quite understand, but I do. I understand it. It's called, it's coming to an end. <laughs> We're getting ready to pass on from here. And this whole theory of all of a sudden to me, I'm not going to waste my time. I am going to enjoy my life. I am going to do things I have no business doing. What is your basics in life? Family. What's your foundation? Family. You're pretty much everything that your family was. Well, Regina, that wraps up our Global Energy Conference for another year. It's hard to believe KPMG has been hosting these conferences for 12 years, and I think this one was one of the best ever. You're not the only one. From the informal feedback I've gotten, our attendee found this year's sessions really engaging. And focused on the topics that are vital to them and their organizations. It didn't hurt to have former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice as our keynote speaker either. And don't forget Terry Bradshaw. And you can always visit us at KPMG globalenergyinstitute.com. But the good news is we've already begun planning for next year's conference. So we hope you'll plan to join us for our 13th annual KPMG Global Energy Conference in May 2015. So thank you for attending this year's conference. Thank you.